let's get going. In my first pumping video, I messed a couple of things up because I'm a new tuber and uh, you learn as you go generally. So I tried to show you, right, the angle for the pump. So now I'm gonna rectify this one straight away. So in my last video, I tried to show the angle of how to pump. And being a new tuber, right, I messed it up because I, I put the pump like this considering you can see that it's vertical and then I tried to go like this and hope that you can see the change in the angle well that's not really going to work now is it so I've come up with this new way to do it here we go it won't flood up with water so if you take this line here as a cross section of the beach right and here's the lugworm right there like that sitting on top and here's this little burrow that he sits in right and that's his blowhole there right now, I'm going to draw a line here, and this line will be the pump vertically, like so, yeah, and this will be your angle here, that's it. Now another thing I messed up in that video, because sometimes I just talk about my past and other things like that is, I said I dug a thousand worms in a tide, what a load of rubbish. I dug twice a week and I get five, three to five hundred worms a tide with a fork and that's pretty good. A thousand worms? Definitely not. I'm going to start pumping again and we're going to get a few, a few worms for tonight's vid. I like the look of this fella here. I already have the oil in the pump and everything like that. I'm going to get this guy straight off. There he is. Over to this fella. Might get him, might not. There he is. That was worth four or five if you hear the sucky noise. If you hear nothing, don't bother. And I know you can't hear the sucky noise on the camera, which is really annoying. But it sounds like, you know, somebody getting to the bottom of a drink with a straw or something. You had to have heard that. That's a ragworm, we don't want him. There you go. <coughs> nice worm, huh? Really nice. Let's just clear this up here, the depth that you need to go in, because I've never actually tried this. It's actually further than I thought. That's how far in I'm going, sometimes. Sometimes I go half the distance. It depends on the hole and the worm. So this is a pretty big one here. We're gonna try this. So I'm gonna put the pump in, and hopefully there'll be a lot of suction, and I'll have to stop, otherwise I'm gonna break the suction in the, in the pump, because the, the plunger will come past the hole. And just let the pump, the, the pump draw the worm out for you. Yeah, that's the one there. And then I lift the pump out. And there it is. Simple. There you go. I held it for a while. And the suction went on it then. See if you got the worm. There you go. And that is very important when you're pumping lugworm. Not just to, you know, pull all the way to the end of the pump. Stop, hold the suction. So it gives the pump time to draw the, the worm out of the, the sand. Because <clears throat> if you go all the way to the end, all your suction will escape and you'll be back to square one. So that's about it. Little worm, yeah, nice. Now we're gonna head home. Get ready for tonight's session. What are you doing? Wait. He's doing it now. Stop messing about. <laughs> Don't know what you lad. Anyway, so we're fishing at last, but I have to say that this is going to be a how-to go fishing. So if I catch a fish, we're good. And if I don't catch a fish, we're good. So there you go. So we're here today on a lovely uh, storm beach here, west of Denmark. There's a blow coming in tonight in a few hours. So we're right on the edge of a low pressure and uh, the, sea's, the sea's lovely for flatfish that's all I'm going to get you never know, might get a coddling, I don't know but we're only here for a very short time 
Because in about three, four hours, if the weatherman can be trusted, it's going to start blowing in here like crazy. So we've just got a short window. We're going to see what happens. Yeah. What are you staring at the ground for? There you go. Nice. So I'm going to give it a bit of heat. Take off the brakes. Lash it out. Nice. Anyway, so the gear, the gear is the Sonics SK4, first one Sonic ever made. Fantastic rods. It's the Megs 525, 40 pound braid, four strand, quarter pound braid leader. That's it, multipliers, yeah. We got cone leads. We got circle hooks, we got hairs. The rig is the pulley pattern out there. Yeah, so let's get baited up. So this is what we got for bait. We've got frozen lug. Lovely jubbly. We've got squid. We've got live lug as well. And this brings me on to a viewer's request or a sub's request is how to put bait up how to bait up lugworm with a J hook with no tools for a flap or rig. Boy, if you're listening, this one's for you, buddy. This isn't a flap or rig, but this is for demonstration purposes only. I'll use this worm afterwards. Right, so I assume you're going to be using the hook, something like, like this here. This is a Kamazan, very common hook, size one. I think most people will be using a in beginners, they be using a hook size 1, size 1 out, size 2 out kind of thing because uh, the rest of the hooks, they're really small and hard to handle so if you're a beginner, this is a good all round size to start with I mean, scoop, you can catch most things on this, you know I've caught um, cod on hooks smaller than this, so yeah of course it's not recommended around that you fish for cod smaller than hooks than this but this will do the job anyway so size 1 camasan, right with a flapper rig, there's no beads on it because when it hits the water, it's coming down this way. So the bait's gonna try to go over the end of the hook. So yeah, they tend to mask the hook a bit. So I've got an answer to that, right? First of all, what I like to do is take the tail off the lugworm. Boom, off it goes, right? Now, generally, if there is any sand left in the worm, it's gonna be in the tail. And that's the hardest bit to get on. So I like to start with the tail first. I just push it over the hook. See there, look, it popped out, right? Don't freak out, like, just go backwards and put it on again. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because, you know, it will put scent out into the water. It doesn't matter if it's got holes in it. That's a good thing, not a bad thing. So don't freak out about that type of thing. Just get the worm on the hook, basically. So, it doesn't matter if it bursts either. That doesn't matter. I fish like this for years and years and years. So you pull down this way with one hand and you push up this way with the other one. So it's quite a simple affair really. And you just basically get it on there. So that's it there. Sometimes they'll burst, sometimes they won't. Right, so there we go. Fairly decent worm on a hook. So when this hits the water, right, the water's gonna push that worm up the hook like this. This is the most simple and effective way to stop this from happening. What you'll need is a fairly wide rubber band. You fold it over like like so you place it over the hook like this that's it now you cut one end put it in your pocket you turn it around I mean depending on how much you want to waste take the other end put it in your bin or your pocket Now you take your piece of rubber band, you push it up the hook and it stops the worm sliding down and masking the hook. This won't put the fish off at all. I fished this way for years. So that's the way I do a flapper rig. I hope that answers any questions you had there. Oi. Thanks for asking anyway. 
So I'm going to take this, this uh, worm off and I'm going to put it onto the other hook there. So there's a lot of new people to the channel. And one of the ways I like to fish for flatfish and other fish is with circle hooks. And I came up with this here. So you can still like thread the lug worm onto the hook and have it below. This is just a bait clip. That's all that is. So we get baited up. I'll show you how it goes. So here we go. There's your circle. And here's your bait clip here. And just like normal, you put it on. Just like a normal, keep loads of tension on it. Over it goes. The good thing is, it doesn't matter if it masks the bottom hook. That's even better. So you slide it up, pin it over the head, that worm's done. And the hairs need to be smaller than the worm, so we're good there. <laughs> there you go. That's her ready to go. That went some way. Whee! <laughs> so, we're fishing a rising tide from low to high, depending on how long the weather lets me stay. What is it with the weather people? I swear to God. They never get it wrong in the right way, do they? Never. They never say, right, it's gonna be blowing a hurricane, and then you get down there and it's three meters a second. That never happens. But it does happen, it says, It'd be three meters a second and you get down there and it's a blow in a hurricane. How come they never get it wrong the other way around? Let's go. Show me some fish. So let's bring in our lefty. Maybe we got a fish. I saw some nibbling. Or uh, probably just tiny flatfish or shrimps or something. Didn't see any real bite anyway. Doesn't feel like they're sitting on there. Boo. Size ones, mustads, demon circles. I'm all rusty. Not the hooks, me. Did I just get a bite? Did I just get a bite? Yes, I think. Oh, I did. Yes, yes, yes. We got a fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh yeah, we got, we, okay, we let this guy marinade. So I'm gonna whack this boy out. Take them brakes off a little bit more. Up she goes. Down she goes. Check it. Lash it out. Nice. Let's see if we've got one on or not. Guess that's a no. So, just a South African cast. Check it. Blah, 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 magnets, blah, 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 blah. Hammer it, yeah. Boom. Nice. So the tide is pushing hard now. It's uh, three hours to high, so it's starting to push pretty hard. So, uh, let's see what happens. Who's gonna fish? I got stuck in this how-to trap and I can't get out. Somebody help me. Five bearded rockling. Anything. <laughs> it's got a huge bite there. There you go, there you go. Nice, nice. So we're gonna let him marinate for a while. I mean I'll give him a tweak. Because it's a cone lead, it won't really matter if he's not there. Well, it'll matter, but 
I can just let it rest again. I won't break the wires out, you know. Yeah, I think we're on. Yeah, we're on. Yeah, we got one. Let the wave carry him in. There he is. What is it? Come on, big something good. What have we got? It's a flatfish, but who cares? It's a nice flounder. Yes! <laughs> About bloody time. Nice. I don't think I've ever been this happy to see a flounder. Ever. <laughs> and he's not spent either, so. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. I know somebody would be very happy to have him. Circle hook or not, he's swallowed the whole lot, so. He's coming home with me. So oh, we're going to whack it out again. Maybe get another one. Or maybe even get a coddling, that'd be great. Because these hooks are tiny, so. You never know, though. So we just lash it out. <laughs> Boom. So, uh, yeah. Seems like we're on for some night flow in direction. But, like I said, uh, the wind's starting to pick up, so uh, yeah, we might not be able to stay here too long. So, taking in the last rod now, then uh, yeah, you know what it means. Doesn't feel like there's anything anyway. Take it back. <laughs> Then when he's pulling really hard. Yeah. So, at last, I have done it. I have broke the how-to curse. I'm Billy. This is Billy catching the fish. Thanks for watching.